Hey there everyone, welcome to Violet's Dream Tarot. So this is going to be the love predictions reading for August 2020. I have done the general predictions reading for August already because I know a lot of you like to keep love and general separate. So if you haven't seen that, I'm going to put a link in the description so you can go ahead and watch that as well and get your general predictions for August. And that reading is the start of a series of readings I'm going to do which are working with the elementals. So you can choose a pile of water, air or fire. On that reading and that will give you I've well I've put some diversity in the cards in that reading so there are different kind of elemental cards depending on which pile you pick um, but I was going to do a love messages from the elementals video that is timeless not tied to any particular month so that's why this one isn't elemental um, I'm just doing the standard pick a card and pick a gnome reading for the love predictions so let's go ahead and look at the piles first and then we'll look at the gnomes as well. So pile one, we have Winnie the Pooh and I have a lot of these things. So I'm going to be using so many different characters over the next few weeks and months. Pile two, we have Sully from Monsters, Inc. Kind of squidgy. And pile three, we have Captain Hook from Peter Pan, who I think is probably one of my favorite Disney characters. So I advise you to choose by intuition, not by your favourite character or the one that you think looks the nicest. And when I say choosing by intuition, there will probably be a particular character that you're feeling really drawn to, like you can't take your eyes off them or you keep going back to look at that character. You may feel a very strong pull from your gut or from your third eye chakra in between your eyes. Some people feel like a tingling sensation when they look at a certain character and that's going to be the pile that holds the most truth for you but it's fine for you to pick more than one if you can't decide. So that's the pile and that's going to give you the main part of your reading but then we also choose a gnome to give you some extra messages. So we have gnome one, well gnome A because these are piles one, two and three. So I'll put them as gnome A, B, C and D in the description and in the comments section but gnome A is called Gizmond. Gnome B is Gunvald. Gnome C is Gaia. And Gnome D is Gjord. So again, it's fine to choose more than one, but a lot of you like to do this kind of layered reading where we pick a pile and pick a gnome because it makes it more personal for you. It means that you get more messages that are kind of as I said, personalised because some people might pick the same pile as you, but then they'll pick a different gnome, so it's that different little tangent. So you can choose a gnome now or you can wait until you've watched your pile and then come back and choose, that's totally fine. Um, before I get into the piles to read them, I want to say a big, big thank you to all of my patrons, including Alex, Alexandra, Kat, Ashley, Jeanette and Kelly. Thank you so much for your support. People are joining the Patreon page every day nearly and it's just so lovely that I have that support from you guys. So thank you so, so much. Um, ways that you can support the channel, I will put them linked in the description box. So there is a Patreon page that you can join if you want to get more content from me and kind of get to know me a little bit better. You also get to vote on the new decks that we get every month. Um, I do have an Etsy page for people who want to book a private reading or an angel healing session with me. And I have an Amazon wish list with tarot decks and oracle decks that I would love to get for the channel. If anyone's feeling generous enough to um, get a new deck for the channel, you just go on there. You don't need to ask what my address is because I've managed to sort it out now. Um, and you can just send me a deck if you would like to. And I also have a PayPal link for tips and donations to the channel. Thank you so much to everyone who has donated. You are so kind and generous and it really blows me away every time I get that little notification that says that someone has sent something for the channel. So thank you so, so much to everyone who has done that. And now I'm going to get started with pile number one. Hey there, if you chose Winnie the Pooh, pile one, then this is the main part of your reading. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, please stick around because we don't just do cards in this channel, we also do charms and dice, so make sure that you stay to get your full reading. So let's take a look at your cards, see what is coming towards you in love in August. So we have the Emperor, Archangel Uriel. The Ten of Gabriel, which is the Ten of Wands. And the Four of Gabriel, the Four of Wands. 
Okay, so what I'm seeing here is a lot of fire energy, especially Aries energy is coming through here. Um, all of these cards are aligned with fire. So that may mean something to you in terms of birth charts, maybe in terms of times when things happen, things happening in the time of Aries. Um, but what I'm seeing is that there is someone that you are either trying to manifest or you're currently in a relationship or talking to this person and it seems to be a twin flame or soulmate for a lot of you but what I see is that you are kind of putting yourself out too much in this relationship it's like you're trying to do too much here you're trying to please this person too much or you're trying too hard to manifest this person and it's time to just take a little bit of a step back not from love or anything like that but just to cut yourself a little bit of slack and ask your angels to take over in a way and then towards the end of the month of August I see more positivity coming in for you and I see this real lovely sense of harmony in a relationship sense look at this lovely card this celebration feeling and what I like is that we've got this card of burdens here where it says Working too many hours, ask your angels for helpful people to lighten your load, trying too hard to please others. And I think very much of Cinderella when I see this picture. And then here it says, release yourself from burdensome situations. So it's like a natural follow on from that. So we'll take a look at your other cards and see what they have to say. But I'm kind of seeing that almost as like a natural progression from the 10 of Gabriel into the 4 of Gabriel. So we've got do something for someone, give your attention to another, number 41. So lots of lovely animals in this card, which is really sweet. And it seems like you are trying to impress someone or please someone in this month. Maybe it's someone that you've got a crush on, it's their birthday in this month. And so you're trying to kind of catch their eye. Some people it will be a Leo because obviously that's a fire energy. And you're trying to kind of stand out from the crowd and show them that you really care by giving them a thoughtful gift or planning them a party or something like that. Um, but it's just saying you're kind of trying too hard for some of you. You're trying to do something for someone, but maybe just think how much energetically are you giving here and how much are you getting back? And if you're giving too much, then either that's going to drain you or it's going to come across too strongly on the other person. So just evaluate how you can give from a loving place without doing too much for other people or without trying to um, really impress someone too much. This is such a lovely card. I love the flowers as well and the butterfly on the top there. So then we have masquerade. Okay, so there is some situation here where you don't have the full picture. There is either someone is not telling you everything or you suspect that someone is not telling you everything because when I get this card I kind of think of suspicion and I think of you maybe wondering if someone's talking to someone else or maybe wondering if someone does have feelings for you after all or whether this person really is the right person for you like that's what I'm getting here and so this is saying if you feel at any point mistrustful of someone or if you feel like someone is trying to spin you a line and not give you the full story then that's when you need to distance yourself from that person it doesn't have to be forever but just take a step back and say look I just need some time to think or I just need some time to myself um, because I'm not sure we're on the same page here so that's the advice from this card and we've got Number 32, total submersion. It says, don't be afraid to totally immerse yourself in a project, interest, or goal. Give it 100% of your energy and you may find what your life has been lacking. Now, this is exactly what I was just talking about earlier. It's like you're fully immersed in whatever it is that you're doing here, whether that is a relationship you're currently in or trying to manifest someone or trying to catch someone's eye at work um, or in your friendship group, you know, that kind of thing. And it says you're giving it 100% of your energy as though you're trying to make up for something in your life that is lacking. So just ask yourself whether you're trying to go into love or manifest someone to kind of make up for something that's been going on recently and ask yourself whether going within and trying to heal from that fully would be more beneficial rather than just um, progressing down this relationship where it seems as though you're kind of giving more than you're getting back. So make sure that relationships are balanced here. I think that's really important. And this is a humpback whale. And what I like when I read the guidebook on this card, because it's quite a new deck for me and I only pulled this card for the first time quite recently. It said that this is a humpback whale and they go underneath the water, sometimes for up to 15 minutes without resurfacing. And it said when they resurface, they'll be miles away from where they first got into the water. So I think that's so interesting if we can kind of make 
um, a connection with going into yourself and your subconscious and your psyche, when you come back out of that again, when you come out of your meditation or your healing session, you've made so much progress that you're miles away from where you were when you began the session. So I think that's such a beautiful thing to keep in mind. And I just love that picture on that card. And then we have number 18, Vasilisa the Brave, Courage. Okay, so you're being asked to be brave and have courage in this month to discern what is going on in the situation where you feel like someone's not being 100% with you or where you're not sure what to believe um, and have the bravery and courage, I guess, to kind of put yourself first in a way because I think a lot of you are very caring and loving people and you just want to give that love to other people but I just think that maybe some of you are going to tire yourselves out in this way and so it's time to put yourself first in a little sense and just you know not give so much of yourself all of the time so if that if you resonate with that if you feel like you are a big giver and a very loving person and very kind person just ask yourself if you're doing too much sometimes and if you feel too tired all of the time it's fine to set that boundary and say actually I just need today to myself or actually I can't talk now I'll call you back later when I've had a bit of a rest or when I've had a bath or whatever that's what I'm seeing would be beneficial for a lot of you. And then we have the Five of Scrolls, diversity. Okay, so this is all about talking to new people and kind of opening yourself up to new experiences, new projects, new situations. So some of you will be talking to multiple people in this month. And I don't mean that in a kind of cheating sense or anything, but just opening up to new connections. I think a lot of you are single and so you're just kind of not wanting to tie yourself down to one particular person. You're just open to chatting, you're open to having a laugh, you're open to just experiencing new things and I think that's a great energy to have. I love this image as well, this woman who's kind of looking out at the world and wondering to herself, well where am I going to go? What opportunities are out there for me? And even if I try this thing and I don't like it, well, I can try something else and see if that's better suited to me. So it's such a freeing card. I think it's so lovely. Then we have El Moya, Awakening Presence. It says, the universe is with you. Wear a cloak of protection and love. So that's so beautiful. Knowing that you're being watched over in this situation and that you're being protected and definitely a lot of loving energy just around you naturally, I think. Your aura just kind of exudes a lot of love in general. I think you're quite a open and honest person. Like you're not someone who kind of hides your feelings in any way. Um, even if you're not very open emotionally, I feel like you just are very honest when it comes to love and are very honest when it comes to caring about people. You don't play games, you don't try to make someone think that you don't care about them or make someone jealous or anything like that. I think you're just a very open person. So El Moya is coming out for you, saying that the universe is kind of in alignment with you in this situation. And then we have Diana, or Artemis, as she's called in the Greek Tradition says focused intention. Keep your unwavering thoughts, feelings and actions focused on your target and you will make your mark. So that's quite nice because that's saying again the universe is kind of in alignment with you. So if you do keep your thoughts and your words and your actions focused on what you want to manifest then that will come about. So remember to keep your thoughts positive. Speak positively about your plans or your dreams in this month because then the universe will align to bring you what it is you need. What I think is also quite a nice little synchronicity is you've got Diana or Artemis and then you've got this card which is full of these woodland creatures and she's usually very surrounded by woodland creatures, especially deer. So I think that's a nice little message, especially for those of you who do work closely with Artemis and kind of feel an affinity with her. We've got very soon. Clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. Okay, so very soon there's going to be some forward movement, some communication, some progress. But again, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And then we were just talking about having a clear idea of what it is that you want and speaking and thinking positively about that to encourage manifestation. Then here we've got Aestibus, the angel of divination. So a lot of you are psychically gifted, a lot of you very intuitive. Um, third eye chakra is very engaged at this time and as I can see here actually the third eye chakra is where this beautiful jewel is here just above there and it is the color of the third eye chakra so a lot of discernment going on for you um, but I think I want to connect this with the masquerade card like if you feel 
at any point like someone is not being truthful with you or that someone is trying to hide something or is not being fully honest with you, then trust your intuition here because your intuition and your psychic powers seem to be very well aligned in this month. And so this is saying, you know, you're right on target there. You're right on your mark. Don't let yourself be talked out of your own feelings in that sense. And um, also the the symbols that are connected to this particular angel, this particular being, are sacred geometry. As you can see here, there's the Merkaba. Really beautiful image and an image of manifestation as well. Um, also a cup of tea and shining stars as well or shooting stars. So look out for those signs if you are ever wondering, is my intuition on target? If you are ever doubting yourself in this month. And then your last card today is Hörer's Bewusstsein, Gnade, number 47. So Gnade means mercy or favor, you know, positive things. And the white backed cards are these Gnade cards because this deck, the the backs are different colors based on the category of the card. And so this says Hörer's Bewusstsein, which means higher consciousness, higher self. So again, you seem very in alignment in this month. And as I said, your, uh, your psychic powers are very open. Um, and are very well aligned with the universe. So trust yourself, trust your intuition, trust what you're feeling and sensing and perceiving. Um, don't think of yourself as paranoid or just anxious or, um, what's the word, kind of easily led or anything like that. You just, you, your intuition is right on point in this month. And I just want to stress that because it's coming across quite strongly. And again, look, we've got Dia. We've got deer in this image. So some of you very strongly in alignment with Artemis or Diana. And I know I'm going to get comments now saying, I work with Artemis or she's my patron goddess. I'm so pleased she came out for me. So if you're that person, just know that she's watching over you. And this is so beautiful. So definitely in line, alignment with your higher consciousness in this month. I just love how it's kind of leading the person. Like I'm going to show you the way kind of thing and how these hills make a lovely heart as well. I think that's so sweet. So let's get your charms and your dice on top now, group one. So my little disclaimer, if you don't like the sound of the charms, if you think it's too loud or anything like that, if you're wearing headphones, if you have the volume turned up very loud, you might want to turn it down now. Um, some people love the sound of the charms, some people find it too loud. So that's my little disclaimer before I start shuffling. So let's see what's coming up for you in love in August 2020, group one. see what we have here. We've got a few initials that I can see. So we have J, Y, and B. J, Y, and B. So those could be important initials for you as people's names. It could be um, place names. It could be just a random word that comes to you. Don't worry if nothing comes. It might just be for a few people here. So then we've got the vacation, the holiday charm there with the flip-flops. This is telling you again to cut yourself some slack and to relax a little bit. If you have been working too much, if you have been putting too much energy into manifestation or into a relationship, or if you have been kind of giving yourself a hard time, then just relax a little bit in this month and just allow yourself to get back into center and get back into balance. You can see healing is going to be a theme as well in this month with the starfish. And you have one, two, three keys. So lots of problems being resolved in this month and lots of situations kind of coming to a nice feeling of completion as well. That's what I see. And you've got the Triskelion in this uh, key here. So I'm going to pull you a Mananon McLear card because he is one of my patron deities and the Triskelion is his symbol. So whenever I pull either that key, which has the Triskelion in it, or I have a separate Triskelion charm as well, I pull one of these cards that I made to communicate with him. Okay, so they look like this. So Lord Manon, what do you want to tell group one about their love life in August? Okay, gentle breeze. Okay, nice. So that works well with what I was saying about relaxing. 
Gentle Breeze just says it's a time of calm in this month. It's a time just to um, reconnect with you and not to be so stressed and so intense. It's not going to be a lot of things happening in this month. It's more of a slow, relaxing time. So I like that you've got that because I think a lot of you have really been putting a lot of pressure on yourselves recently. And we have the movie camera. So some of you are actors, YouTubers, filmmakers, photographers, and that's a special little symbol for you. But also this means that things are working out behind the scenes. You're just not aware of it yet. So yes, you don't see the full picture at the moment. Yes, you don't see quite everything that's coming towards you at the moment, but part of that is good. You know, you're not meant to see everything. If you're worried about your manifestation not coming to fruition, just know that things are working out. Um, you will soon start to see progress. You will soon start to see signs that things are coming towards you. It's just things are being worked out. These circumstances are being kind of defined and set out for you. Um, but it's not your place or your power to kind of control when that happens. It's just on its way. So I hope that will alleviate some fears for some of you. We've got the lovely word hope there as well. And the swallow, okay, so someone or something is returning to you in this month. Some of you will be reconciling with people or hearing from people that you haven't heard from from a while. Um, some of you also just getting back some confidence or getting back some energy that has been very much needed. We've got the basketball in the hoop there, that's about achieving a goal. And the skeleton, so skeletons in the closet, some of you really dealing with past issues, past traumas, um, negative memories, those kinds of things. As you know, we've got the healing starfish there, so definitely kind of shaking that out. Shaking those skeletons out of the closet to make room for something better. We've got the infinity symbol as well. I know that's a very special symbol for a lot of you. And it just makes me think of continuation and just knowing that you are greater than this one lifetime that you've experienced and you are greater than the situations that you are involved in right now. You're a much higher, greater being than that, so just remembering, as it says here, awakening presence, remembering and recognizing that you are kind of above that situation and that whatever happens to you at this moment doesn't define you. You know, you've had a lot of lifetimes, you've also had a lot of experiences before this and you'll have lots of experiences after this. So just rising above the situation in a sense and not getting totally um, submerged in it. We have the cord cutting scissors there cutting out people in situations that are negative or toxic for you we've also got the thistle that's the scottish charm so some of you have connections to scotland through your name your family history your surname um visiting scotland that kind of thing or it may be the person you're asking about we've got a worry thread there and so some of you really worried that someone's keeping something from you or that someone is kind of bending the truth a little bit We've got passion and excitement with the chilies and also self-care, nurturing, uh, nurturing with the watering can. And I feel like that doesn't just go for you, it goes for others as well, because as I said, I think a lot of you are very caring and giving people. And I wonder if some of you are maybe trying to help someone who's going through a rough time, but it's kind of not your duty to help this person. Like as much as you can be there to support them, they have to sort out their own issues themselves. So I wonder if that's maybe where you're kind of hitting the brick wall or feeling like you're just doing so much but not getting anywhere. Because I can see the birdcage as well, a lot of you feeling trapped or stuck in a situation. The vine, that's telling you just to continue, just keep going. You're very endurant and resilient, just like a vine. You cut it down, it grows back. There's always parts of it hiding somewhere waiting to grow back, even when you think you've got all of it. So that's kind of my stamina and endurance resilient charm we've got this lovely elephant here so that is another symbol to listen to your intuition and listen to what your thoughts are telling you and your gut feelings because they're going to be very strong in this month that's how the universe is going to communicate with you in this month and again the manta ray listen to your intuition go with how you're feeling guided to move so i'm going to get your dice as well and just get these so if you're new to my channel, I roll a six-sided dice to determine which set we're going to use because I have six at the moment. I'm planning on getting some more as well in the future. Okay, and we're using number six for you. So that is the Voyager's dice. Okay. 
and then I roll a ten-sided dice to see how many of them we roll. And if I get a zero or a one, then I roll again. Okay, zero, so we roll again. Five. And the reason why I do that is because I don't want to roll all nine dice if not all of them are going to have a message for you because that would just be kind of confusing and not really the point of doing this. So what is coming up for group one in their love life in August 2020? Okay. Mm -hmm. So healing, I can see that straight away. Healing. Also the cactus. So when I get the cactus, I think of being in survival mode. Um, and I kind of think also of being a little bit difficult to get close to. So that it's either you that isn't letting people in as much in this month or someone else that you're, you've got your eye on is kind of putting this wall up around them. And that is an additional meaning of the thistle charm as well, kind of being prickly, not letting people get close to you very easily. So just take that how it resonates. We've also got the kind of angry person there. So tempers fraying a little bit in this month. As I said, it feels like there's been a lot of energy given out from your side and that may make you feel a little bit stressed or a little bit annoyed with someone. Almost like you're just angry that they're taking and not giving back or angry with yourself for just taking on so much and not prioritizing yourself. We've got the ax as well, which is about defensiveness. So maybe having a conversation with someone and they just kind of bat your questions away or you feeling quite defensive about a person or your actions or anything like that. Again, take all of this how it resonates because it is a general reading on YouTube. And we have the buffering symbol as well. So it's like, you know, waiting for something to come, waiting for something to load or for the penny to drop. And I just want to repeat this, this message about intuition and psychic downloads and revelations in this month because I just think that you really need to trust yourself in this month if you get a feeling intuitively about someone or about a situation or if you feel um, some kind of thought that really sticks out to you in your mind follow it you know don't discount it don't think that you're stupid or you're crazy or you're anxious or paranoid or whatever stick with it because it, it has meaning and that's how the universe is communicating with you. So I hope you enjoyed this and now you can go and watch your gnome. Um, you may have picked more than one, I don't know. If you remember which one you chose, um, then you can just go and, and jump to that in the description box or in the comments section. If you haven't chosen one or you can't remember which one he was, then just go back to the start of the video and pick one now because that's going to give you some extra messages. So now I'm going to move on to pile number two. Hey there, if you chose pile two with Sully, then this is the main part of your reading. And if you're new to my channel, welcome. Please stick around because we don't just do cards in this channel, we do charms and dice as well. So make sure you stay and get your full reading. So let's see what's coming up for you in love in August 2020. So we've got the nine of Ariel, the nine of pentacles. The star with Archangel Jophiel. Seven of Ariel, Seven of Pentacles, and also the Ten of Ariel. Okay, Ten of Pentacles. So lots of Earth energy, but also Aquarius energy coming through with the star there. So let's see. What I can see is that you've put in a lot of hard work as far as love has gone. And I think a lot of you probably are single um, or have been single for quite some time and that you've been doing your inner work and you've been kind of learning to love yourself, learning to heal, learning to expect positive things and kind of learning about manifestation, law of attraction, whatever resonates with you. I see you having done a lot of work as far as that's concerned and you should be proud of yourself. Um, you definitely have positive things to look forward to in this month. I see things coming towards you that are going to have long-term potential. So a wish may be fulfilled for you in this month. You may just feel as though now is the time when lots of positive new opportunities are flowing towards you. And then we have the Seven of Pentacles, so the Seven of Ariel. It says you have invested wisely, have patience and wait for the harvest, review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. So that makes me wonder if you are kind of talking to someone, but haven't heard from them for a while or things are going quite slowly or maybe you're just trying to slow down a relationship that's going too quickly for you or more quickly than you would like and I think for a lot of you it also means that you may not meet someone in this month you may not kind of progress in your relationship at this month um, but there are still positive things in the long term like you're on the right path now you're coming into alignment and 
positive things await you because we have the beautiful 10 of Ariel as well. There is so mu very much to be grateful for. Financial success and the promise of retirement, a rich and rewarding family life. So this feeling of taking it easy, this feeling of being materially provided for, it's such a beautiful symbol. So let's get your other cards and see what they have to say. I'll move these up so we have room. So I've been using a lot of cards recently because I've had so many old decks that I know that you won't have seen on the channel since coming back to the UK and also new decks that were waiting for me when I got back. So we've got physical touch. A tender touch can mean so much, number 47. So you are likely growing closer to someone in this month and making your relationship more physical in the sense that you're able to see each other more. Maybe some of you just haven't been able to get out and spend time with someone due to restrictions where you live. Maybe some of you are just kind of deepening your closeness in a relationship with someone and are just really looking forward to kind of hugging, kissing, just being able to have that, that contact with someone, which I think a lot of people have really been missing out on recently and have really been craving. And we have I am truth. Okay, so this card is interesting because this says that you have maybe not been speaking your truth recently. Maybe you've been kind of agreeing with someone to avoid an argument or kind of doing something that you weren't really happy with just because you didn't want to make a fuss. Or you didn't want to upset anyone. And this is saying that actually it's doing you and the other people around you more harm than good. So if that resonates with you, if you feel like you have been silencing yourself or kind of saying something that wasn't really true for you, then it's time to start and speak your truth because that's actually going to be much more positive in the long run than just agreeing with someone or just kind of doing what you think other people want rather than what you want. So throat chakra issue is possibly needing to be healed here, um, but also just learning to speak your truth, learning to be confident saying what you like and don't like, what you expect and don't want in a relationship, learning to speak up and say, actually, it upset me when you said that, or actually, I don't want to go to this place, I'd rather go to this place for this reason. You know, just speaking up and not apologizing for that either. It doesn't mean that you're rude, you don't have to do it in a rude way, but just saying how you feel needs to be done in a relationship and just in life in general as well. So throat chakra issues um, being worked on, being healed in this month for a lot of you. Then we have number 42, gentle moderation. It says, take your time. Pressure from others or yourself can be released by renegotiating what you are trying to accomplish. And we've got these beautiful walruses. Walri? <laughs> walruses or walri. I don't know what the the proper um, plural version is. I hope it's walri, actually, because that sounds quite funny. Um, but again, this is another card of just taking it slowly, not rushing yourself, having patience with yourself and with another person or with the process of manifestation. And yeah, just not putting deadlines or timelines on a relationship or on um, your love life in general. Stop worrying that you don't have time left to meet someone, to settle down. Stop worrying that you've been with someone for two years already and there's no engagement on the horizon or anything like that. Just, just relax, just breathe. You know, take your time. Things unfold slowly. And the walruses are, of course, masters of relaxation. And also, I think um, I read somewhere that their tusks take a very long time to grow. And the length of the tusk kind of shows in the community who is like an elder walrus. And it's therefore like a symbol of respect. So again, it's like saying taking your time is dignified and being patient with yourself is something that will pay off in the long run and that will make other people respect you as well. So then we have number 33, Verde Prato, wounds. So as I said before, healing seems to be quite a strong um, theme for you. It seems to be something you've been working on and you should be proud of what you've achieved so far because I really think that you've put a lot of hard work into that. Whatever it was that you were healing from, it might not even, even been love related. It might have been a childhood issue, an issue at work. Um, past life issues even, but you've been working very hard on healing that. It could even have been a physical problem, you know, if you have been ill or if you have had an injury recently. Healing from that and getting back to your full self, getting back to 100% um, is something that you can look forward to in this month and kind of bringing you more healthy choices as well in relationships. And we have number one, the Oracle of Delphi. So, okay, so interesting because this was a very strong theme in pile one that they were really in alignment with their psychic gifts, with their intuition, with the universe in this month. And so this is also saying that you should trust your intuition. 
in this month if you get an intuitive kind of feeling about a person or a situation or if you feel that person's not being truthful with me or if you get a thought that really sticks out very strongly to you take note of it and take action and kind of don't pass it off as you being paranoid or you being silly or you making things up if you keep seeing a sign or a symbol or a number that's repeated take note of it and really you know look into that and see where it's guiding you because you are being guided in this month and you are very intuitively aware in this month so don't brush yourself off as being silly or being mad or paranoid or anything like that take it on board and of course the oracle of delphi the pythia as she was known is the priestess of apollo so you might be working with the god apollo who is the god of light of creativity the arts all of those lovely things you might be working with him then we have here lord ganesh so another deity it says infinite abundance obstacles are being removed spiritual support and connections are increasing so again spiritual support being connected to the divine to your spirit guides to the angels to whichever deities you worship that's what i'm seeing and also i like obstacles are being removed as well because someone told me that ganesh is not just a god of wisdom which is how i always thought of him but he's also a god of healing and obstacle removing and kind of removing blockages as well so that really ties in very well with what you've been doing some of you may also have been working with ganesh to heal yourselves and to remove obstacles from your path and we have una easy does it so this is a celtic goddess it says there's no need to hurry or force things to happen. Everything is occurring in perfect timing. So again, this repeated symbol about not hurrying, not rushing yourself, having patience with yourself. Really beautiful messages there. I love it when we get repeated messages as well. And then we have true love. This is the romance of a lifetime. So definitely you're welcoming love back into your life. Someone really may have kind of lit the flame of your heart. Someone may have kind of expressed feelings for you in this month you may just be growing closer to someone I think a lot of you as well are just opening up to love in general and are kind of seeing love all around you in life and just getting into the flow as far as that's concerned then we have Keter the crown spirituality so for those of you who aren't familiar with the Kabbalah uh, this is the first emanation the first Sephirot on the tree of life and this is kind of what's called the god Sephiroth. So it's so far removed and so far above our experience that we can't comprehend it. We can't even imagine what this is like. And so this is saying that new things are beginning for you. You're just not aware of it yet. You're not able to comprehend it yet. It's kind of like the the very beginning of something in the God mind. Like, you know, when someone says God spoke this and it came into being or God thought of this and it was true. It's kind of like that. It's like it's not coming into fruition yet it's not coming into the material world yet but it is being created it's being thought of it's becoming and that's what I'm seeing so the crown that which we can't even comprehend because it's so far removed from our experience and from our power and from our life that's what I'm seeing and then number 44 vision ganada so the ganada cards are the white backed cards because these have all different colored Backs, depending on which category they're placed in and gnada means mercy or favor and vision you can probably guess that means vision and so this is saying you have this vision you have this idea of where you want to go or where you're being guided to go so again being in real alignment with the universe and you see this kind of being who is guiding this person in the boat to the place where they need to be so that ties in with what I was saying about being guided and being in alignment with um, with the divine, with the angels, with your gods, etc. But it's also about making long-term plans, like the star is telling you to do, and the seven of Ariel, the seven of pentacles, and about manifestation as well, keeping that vision of what you want in your mind. So that's a beautiful card to round off the reading with, because it just ties in with so much stuff that we've been saying. So let's get your charms and dice on top now. And I have to give my usual disclaimer, some of you love the sound of the charms, some of you don't. If you don't like it, or if you have the volume turned up really loud, or if you have your headphones on, please turn down the volume now while I shuffle them, because it might be a little bit loud for you, or it might get on your nerves, or whatever. But that's my little warning before I start. So, group two, what is coming up for you in your love life in August 2020?
Okay. See what we've got here. Okay, so we have generous, which is Leo energy, and optimistic, which is Sagittarius. So generous and optimistic. Then we have Gemini as well. Okay, so different zodiac signs coming out here. We've also got guardian angel for health. I don't know if you can see that, if you can read that. Guardian angel for health. So angels are watching over your health. And I love that it landed on the card about wounds, like healing and angels are helping you to do that, to bring that into fruition. We have a guardian angel here as well. So definitely you're working a lot with angels and you're definitely being watched over and protected. We've got a worry doll there. We've got a little flower, which is all about beauty and blossoming. So remember that you're beautiful and remember that flowers take some time to open up, you know, Things take time to come to fruition because that's been a real theme for you in this reading is about patience and not rushing yourself or not trying to move a relationship forward too quickly. We've got defensiveness there with that sword. And things will measure up to your expectations as well. We've got the measuring tape there. So again, keeping those thoughts positive and having that clear vision of what it is that you want. Because if you're not sure what you're trying to manifest, if you're not sure what you need from a relationship, then you'll end up bringing stuff towards you through the law of attraction that is maybe not well suited to you. So really think about what it is that you want. Maybe write down what would be a deal breaker for you in a relationship or what you absolutely need to have in a relationship. And then write down some things that you would like to have, but you're not too bothered if that person doesn't have that quality or if that relationship is not um, doesn't have that quality to it. But just so you know what your absolute deal breakers are and what your absolute needs are in a relationship, because that will help you to kind of visualize it and seeing it down on paper will be very helpful for you. You might also want to make a vision board, a mood board, a Pinterest board with images of what you're trying to manifest, things that represent to you what it is that you're trying to manifest. We have the haunted house there with the worry thread wrapped around it. So definitely some of you have been dealing with difficult situations from your past, but it seems like you really are healing and overcoming it, which I think is very admirable and a beautiful message for many of you, I'm sure. We've got the manta ray that's telling you again to listen to your intuitive guidance, listen to your feelings and your thoughts and go with what they're telling you to do. We've got allure there, kind of seduction charm which is quite interesting. We've got magic as well, this little witch on her broomstick. And the explosion, something happening suddenly, something very um, kind of unexpected in a way or very suddenly quickly happening. So that may be what needs to be slowed down or what needs to be kind of moderated in a way. So we'll get your dice as well. And if you're new to my channel, I roll a six-sided dice, which will tell us which set of dice we're going to use because I have six and I'd like to get some more as well in the future. So I may end up upgrading to a bigger dice. Okay, number five. Okay, so that is the actions dice. We just get them. Okay, so I roll this ten-sided dice now to see how many of them we're rolling. And if I get a zero or a one, then I roll again. Okay, three, three. So the reason why I do that is because I don't want to roll all nine dice if they don't all have a message for you, because in this case, you've got a three. So if I'd rolled all nine, it might be the case that six of them just don't make any sense or they're kind of confusing or conflicting. So that's why I do that for people who are interested. Okay, so group two, what is coming up for you in your love life in August 2020? Okay, interesting. Okay, this is nice. So we've got the person who's walking forward and they look positive. So this makes me think of progress, positive forward movement, you know, feeling happy, feeling that easygoing kind of energy. We've also got the child here who's playing. And to me, it always looks like she's mediating between the two people. To me, it looks like she's saying, well, you should say this and you should say that and then you should make up, that kind of thing. So maybe you're acting as a mediator or you've been trying to please people by as I said before, with the truth thing, like trying to please people by putting your needs last and prioritizing others. And this is saying it's time to come back into prioritizing yourself again. And that doesn't necessarily cause conflict or make people annoyed with you. It's just, it's better for everyone involved if that's what you do. So if you have been the mediator figure, it's time to put yourself back to the forefront again. But again, it's landed on the Oracle of Delphi. So maybe mediating 
based on what intuition you're getting, you know, that's how you're being guided to behave in a relationship, whatever these intuitive things are that you're being called to do. So really, really listen to your intuitive guidance in this month. And also the doorbell. When I get the doorbell, I think of there's guidance coming through. It's like your spirit guides, your angels or patron gods are kind of knocking on the door or ringing the doorbell and you just need to open up and listen. So again, if you do get these little hints or repeated symbols or thoughts that really stick out to you, feelings that you can't explain, don't ignore them, don't write them off. Write them down if you need to because you might notice that you get repeated things and that might be a way of keeping track of them if you have like a little intuition journal or something. Um, but yeah, definitely don't discount it because you're so in line with your intuition and with your guidance in this month. So I hope you enjoyed this group too. Um, that's the main part of your reading and if you can remember which gnome you chose then just go to either the description box or the comments section to jump to that. If you can't remember what his name was or which one he was then just go back to the front or if you didn't choose one in fact just go back to the front of this video and choose your gnome again and that will give you some extra messages just to make it a bit more personalized reading for you but I hope you enjoyed this and I'm going to move on now to group number three. Hey there, if you chose Captain Hook and Pile 3, then this is the main part of your reading. And then your gnomes will give you some extra messages just to make it more personalized for you. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Please stick around and make sure that you get your full reading because we don't just do cards on this channel, we do charms and dice as well. So make sure you stay so that you get all of the messages that you need to hear today. So we've got the Seven of Raphael, the Seven of Cups. The Queen of Michael, Queen of Swords. And the Chariot with Archangel Metatron. Okay, interesting. So what I'm seeing for you in your love life in August is actually that you have a lot of options open to you because straight away I'm seeing the Seven of Raphael. And this is saying that you have a lot of different paths that you could choose to go down. And this may make you feel a little bit overwhelmed. I'm seeing healing and kind of detoxing from a situation as being important here. And if you want to pause the video, and see if any of these buckets are kind of calling your name, any of these colours, then that is going to give you a clue as to which chakra may need healing. You may feel drawn to more than one, but that might be helpful for you in kind of determining what healing needs to be done for you. But definitely you're kind of making a decision as to which path you're going to go down in this month. And then I'm seeing the Queen of Michael and the Chariot. So what's interesting here is that it says here, a time for your career rather than relationships. And I do feel that actually with this card, some of you are choosing to leave someone behind or walk away from a situation that you just know has been draining your energy. It's been toxic. It's been taking far too much from you than it needed to. And you're choosing to prioritize you now. You're choosing to prioritize yourself says here the benefit of experience as well, like you've kind of gone through this for so long that you know actually no longer will I stay in this relationship. So that's what I'm seeing. And the chariot as well, career advancement again and success. It feels like progress through your own willpower, through your own determination. You're going to pull yourself out of this situation and start seeing progress on the new path that you've chosen for yourself. So this is really interesting, you guys. I'm going to get you some more cards see what they have to say for you. So we've got the Union of Hearts, number 28, a love connection defies explanation. So it feels like you feel or have felt very, very drawn to someone and you just couldn't explain why and you couldn't quite articulate what it was that drew you towards this person. But I feel like it was very intense for a lot of you. You felt so almost entangled in this relationship with this person because as you can see here, it's like you can't quite tell where one of these dryads ends and the other one begins. And so there's this entanglement feeling that I get from this card. Of course, it can be positive as well. And I'm not saying that you haven't experienced positive things with this person. But I do feel as though, based on your tarot cards, you're kind of pulling away from someone. You're choosing to just accept that this relationship was what it was. This connection was what it was. You were meant to experience it. You've learned things from it. You've learned soul lessons from this connection, um, but it feels as though it's time to disentangle yourself and time to move on from this person. Let's get some more cards. Wings of Light. Wow. Now this is a very um, 
powerful card. I think it's so beautiful as well if you look at the colors and the beautiful angel wings. This says that you are going through a time of sadness and healing and that heaven is seeing that and that the angels are going to be very strongly around you at this time. This beautiful angel of light and healing, you can see she's holding this kind of green bottle and that's like a potion of healing. So she's giving you this to you to drink now and she's going to wrap her wings around you and keep you safe and protected. You might want to do some kind of meditation where you imagine that. Imagine your angel wrapping their wings around you to protect you and offering you this bottle of healing. Um, I think that would be quite a nice meditation. I'm always coming up with these little meditations for the cards that I pull, but I think that would be quite a nice one to do. And this card also says that over the next few days or weeks, you will get some kind of sign that undoubtedly tells you that your angel is with you, that at least one of your guardian angels is trying to make contact. So please stay open to that. And if you see some kind of important sign to you or something that really stands out to you, then just know that your angels are near. Let's see what else we have. We have number three, in the light of the moon. A full moon can shine light on what you have been resisting. This can be anything from your fears to your soul's beauty. And that's so beautiful. I think a lot of the moon card in the tarot when I get this, because we've got the reflection on the water there, we've got this sense of like illusions are being revealed to be what they are. I'm sensing like subconscious things are being healed. I'm sensing just things that you've buried as well are being healed and you're moving on from that. Um, I feel like your dreams and your intuition are quite strong at this time. So maybe pay attention to your dreams and to what your intuitive guidance is telling you. What actually really stood out to me when I read this was that light and light was repeated and you just had the wings of light card. So light is like a repeated theme in these two cards here but definitely yeah it's saying don't resist just know that there's something you're being called to release and it is going to be very healing for you yes it may feel sad or painful to actually do it but once you've got it over and done with and you've had time to kind of come to terms with that it's going to feel like a big relief of a burden for you and you're going to be able to move on and be healed and happy and healthy in the future and we have this beautiful killer whale here this orca um and they are a symbol of intuition as well and of dreams and the subconscious mind so you might really like killer whales as well that might be one of your favorite animals then we have fairies words number 28 so fairies also around you you've got a lot of divine help going on for you in this month but yeah the fairies some of you are going to be earth signs as well and air signs because we've got the fairies here. I'm also seeing Cancer. All of the air signs as well, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I should have pointed that out earlier, but that's what I'm seeing as far as zodiac signs are going. If you watch the um, elemental reading, the general August predictions, I would recommend you choose the air energy pile because that has um, fairy, fairy cards in it. But yeah, words. This is like thinking about how you choose to express yourself, maybe needing to write something down or to send like a final message to someone or have a conversation where you actually just say what has been eating you up and what you need to say to that person so that you have that closure and can move on. But words, your communication, your self-expression is very important in this month. Eight of forces, the lightning bolt. <laughs> you guys, light, it's coming out again, light. Light of the moon, wings of light, the lightning bolt. Okay, so the eight of forces, this card is saying that something is ending for you. As you can see, it's like a destructive cleansing. Now I love electricity and I feel like it should be an element all of its own, but personally I put it with fire, I guess, but I guess it's more of like a, it's like a connection between fire and the air as well, because it comes down from heaven. But this is almost like heaven is kind of interventioning, interventioning, intervening in your life. And it's saying, look, this needs to end. So something is coming to an end. It may be very upsetting for you. It may be quite, um, what's the word, emotional. It may cause a lot of grief or sadness for you, but it needs to end. And what I find so profound about the fact that they've chosen lightning for this card is because, yes, it's going to break down this tree. We can see that it's going to destroy this tree. But lightning kind of has this weird cleansing effect, like it it burns things and it gets rid of things, but that allows things to grow again. It kind of cleanses a space. Um, so that's what I'm seeing, this kind of energetic cleansing and this cleansing on a physical level as well of your 
situations of your relationship, something is ending, but it's to encourage new things to come in. So please take your time to feel your emotions in this month. Please don't push them down or try to ignore them. Just feel them, get them out. Grieve if you need to, you know, take care of yourself in this month. We've got beautiful Mercury or Hermes as well for you. Open communication. Get a weight off your chest. Speak up with love and be heard. Now, what I was just saying about kind of saying what's eating you up. So what a beautiful confirmation. And I always get so excited when I see Hermes because he is one of my patron gods. So I'm so happy that he's come out for you in this reading because he's such a lovely character. And I think I noticed as well the Kajakaeus, his special staff, which is a healing symbol. I'm sure I saw it on this card. Yeah, look. That's so nice. So Hermes is working with you in this month. Mercury, whatever you prefer to call him, he's working with you and he's encouraging you also to speak up in this month and to say your piece and basically get it out, get it off your chest, say what you need to say to this person or to someone you trust who will kind of not repeat what you've said. Just get it all out. You might just want to write it down or just kind of say it out loud to an empty room but just so that it's not inside you anymore it would be very helpful for you to just get it out <laughs> my goodness Ishtel medicine woman look at the lightning in the background you are a channel for divine healing power oh my goodness okay so lightning and light is such an important image for you you might see it at some point and that's kind of like your symbol that your angels are around you but look at the lightning so you are definitely healing in this month and you're taking this healing energy from heaven. You're taking it, it's channeling straight down from the divine, from your patron gods, your angels, your spirit guides into you, into your being and into your life. So you may work with each child as well or Hermes or fairies, angels, you know, whoever you work with, just know that it's being sent down from on high and that you are being watched over, you are very much loved, you are very much cared about, and they just want you to heal. The The divine wants you to heal, wants you to kind of make your peace with this situation. So then we have getting to know each other. As you reveal your innermost selves to each other, your bond deepens. So then this may also work well with the kind of choice card that we had, and then the words about the cards about words, and maybe also this card as well, the union of hearts. There is someone also that you're growing closer to this month someone that you're starting to talk to maybe a completely new person or just someone that you start talking to a bit more um i feel like this is more towards the end of the month for you but definitely something is ending and it's bringing in new beginnings for you so that's a nice message as well if you found this quite an intense reading or quite an upsetting reading if anything you hear in a reading ever distresses you or makes you really upset, then please just pause it or click off it if you're not ready to hear it yet because I don't want anyone to be upset by anything that I say or to be left feeling kind of ungrounded or unsure of what's going to happen. So if you are feeling like that, then just pause the video, go and make yourself something hot to drink and come back when you're ready. So we have Duma here, the angel of dreams. And I'm sure I was talking about dreams earlier. Yeah, with this card. Yeah, so dreams are going to give you important messages in this month. A lot of people's intuition seems to be really strong in this month, but dreams, this is also about realizing a reality that is false, like realizing that a situation has not been what you thought it was in your life. So again, accepting that maybe someone was deceiving you or accepting illusions as being illusions and not the truth. That's very important in this month. And if I remember correctly, the symbols associated with this angel are um, an eye, like eyes. Um, oh, what else is there? An eye. Oh, reflection on water. And yeah, we've got reflection on water here as well. So reflection on water, an eye. And there as well. My goodness. So definitely these signs are already coming through for you that your angels are near. Let me think, what was the other one? Reflection on water, an eye. I'm going to have to look in the guidebook. I haven't pulled this card for a while. Let me see. Because I just, if any of you are going to see this as your sign, I don't want to let you down by not telling you what it is. Okay, Duma, Duma. A golden cage. Okay, a reflection in water, a golden cage, and an eye are symbols of 
this angel, when this being is near you, and when I say I, I mean the thing that you see with, not like the letter I. And then your last card is Erfolg, success, okay? And this is a Gaba card, so the pink-backed cards are Gaba cards, which mean gift. So Erfolg, success, and what I was saying about progress earlier and you feeling as though you've made an achievement, you do in this month. You overcome something, you make a significant achievement in your feelings and in your life. So please don't worry if you're afraid of going through all of this situation because you're going to come out on top and you're going to feel as though actually I'm so much stronger than I realized and actually this whole situation was a blessing for me because I've learned this or because now I'll do this differently or because I've had this soul lesson, you know? So I like that you've got that card. You're the only person today to get a gift card. The others both got uh, mercy cards, which are the white backed cards. So now I'm going to do your charms and your dice, group three. So my quick disclaimer, if you don't like the sound of the charms or if you think it's going to be too loud for you, if you're wearing headphones, or if you have the volume turned up very loud, please turn it down now. I know a lot of you like the sound of the charms, but that's just my disclaimer so you don't get um, a really loud noise in your ear if you're kind of relaxed a little bit. So group three, what is coming up for you in your love life in August 2020? Okay, what can we see here? So straight away I'm seeing the snowflake, which is a winter symbol, and um, the pumpkin, which is an autumn symbol. So some of you, winter or autumn will be very important to a certain relationship that you've had. It may be when something happened in that relationship, or it may be someone's birthday or something like that. So just take that how it resonates. I can see here the sunflower as well, and that's a really lovely charm because that's just like the sun card. That's saying that the sun will come out. Yes, you've got the moon, you've got the lightning. You've got all of these cards about light, which is so lovely. I love how well all of these have tied together with that imagery and about the reflection on the water and everything like that. Um, but the sun is going to come out again. You are going to feel happy. You are going to feel confident once more. You're going to feel particularly towards the end or the latter half of this month as though you've gotten back on the horse, like you've kind of took control of your situation again and you're open to new experiences. You're excited to see what is going to come towards you. We've got the worry thread there and we have beautiful Pegasus. He is a symbol of creativity, of inspiration, of wonder, you know, divine intervention in many ways, but also of healing because it's said that whenever Pegasus's hooves touch the ground, a healing spring would just burst up out of the ground in that space. So another healing symbol We've got the spider's web, feeling trapped, feeling stuck in a situation. This owl telling you to listen to your inner voice and your feelings and that inner wisdom is what's going to be guiding you in this month. As I said, in all of the piles, actually, I love it when I do this and every pile gets some kind of synchronicity because this is a message for the collective. At this time, the way that spirit is guiding you, the way that your patron gods, your angels, your spirit guides are guiding you is through your intuitive feelings and your mind, so your thoughts. So if you are feeling particularly drawn to something or if you are feeling, say someone starts talking about a situation or a person and you start feeling very anxious or uncomfortable, you need to follow that feeling. Or if you get a good feeling about something, follow the feeling. Or if you kind of hear a thought in your mind that really sticks out at you, keep it, you know, don't discard it, don't think it's you making something up, don't think that you're paranoid or anything like that, follow your guidance and know as well, I said this I think on my Patreon page when I was doing a video, I'm not sure if I said it here so I'm afraid, sorry if I'm repeating myself, but I got someone recently telling me like when I get thoughts that I think might be guidance, it just sounds like my own thoughts, it's not in someone else's voice in my head, and that's entirely true. I would say in my experience, probably 90% of the time or more, if you get guidance from above through thoughts, it sounds just like your own voice. And so you need to just trust that. I found it very difficult as well. When I first started doing readings for people, 
including on YouTube as well, because that was a whole other set of confidence that I needed to find in myself. But when I started doing readings just for other people rather than myself, I found it very difficult to trust the guidance that I was receiving because I was afraid to say something like, oh, does this word mean anything to you? Or this is what I think is... I'm getting from, even though it's not on the cards, this is what I feel I'm getting from the energy. And that was always what resonated with people the most, not just the cards, but often those guidances were what resonated with people the most. But I was just so not confident to speak about it because in my mind, it came through in my own voice. So don't discount it if you feel very drawn to something that's coming through in your thoughts, because that is how spirit communicates. That elephant means the same thing as the owl. So you've got a double confirmation there. We have transformation as well with the butterfly. And I mean, what is lightning if not a transformative force? Yes, it's destructive. Yes, it can be scary and unpredictable, uncontrollable, but it brings new things and it transforms things. So I love that you've got that charm on that card. We've got the snake there, some of you born in the year of the snake, the Chinese year of the snake. This also means that you're going to be having an unexpected friend or ally in this month. So maybe someone that you've kind of argued with in the past or someone who is friends with someone that doesn't like you is going to end up giving you some help or some advice or some friendship in this month, which is really quite nice. We've got the mischievous little child there. So you may have children, children may be playing a part in your love life at this time, but also this just makes me think about opening up to light-hearted energy again, mischievous, playfulness, you know, that happy, giggly, fun energy is coming back into your life through the healing that you're undergoing. We've got the fairy who brings blessings, so blessings are coming to your life, and of course fairies, We've got that repeated symbolism there this chair here that's about household and stability getting back a sense of security once more and of course she is seated as well on this nice big chair and it's all her own she doesn't need anyone else to give it to her she doesn't need anyone to provide for her she is really self-reliant and independent and this beautiful final charm is the shooting star and the shooting star says that a wish will be granted for you you will have something wonderful happen for you in this month so I think that's a lovely message for you so then just to round off your reading we'll do your dice and if you're new to my channel I roll the six-sided dice to see which set we're rolling because I have currently six sets of dice I'm planning on getting some more but then I'll have to use a bigger dice so number five that is the actions dice these ones and then I roll this 10-sided dice to see how many of them we roll. And if I get a zero or a one, then I roll again. Six. Okay. Okay. So what is coming up for group three in their love life in August 2020? Okay, I mean, look, this just works so well with the lightning bolt theme. Something is ending, something is breaking apart from your life and it needs to happen. It just needs to be allowed to fall away. So just don't resist that. Just let it happen as scary or as, you know, upsetting as it might be in the moment. Just allow it to happen because spirit is bringing better things towards you and you just need to trust that that heaven knows better than you do in this situation. As difficult as it is to trust in that, just allow it to happen also got the person who is being drawn here so this makes me think of visualizing what it is that you want to manifest in a relationship and having that firm vision in mind got the person who's listening to chilled out music there just relax stay as calm as possible i think also music is very important if we listen to music that is very sad or very aggressive then it keeps us in that feeling and sometimes that's fine sometimes we want to wallow a little bit or we want to kind of get it out by listening to aggressive music but if that continues then you're just perpetuating that cycle so try to listen to meditation music music that's very happy or upbeat or calm that kind of thing because that will kind of change your vibration and your mood you've got the hanging out to dry there again just kind of allowing this situation to come to fruition it's like feeling those feelings letting all of that emotion drip out of you and the sun coming out again you know 
allowing yourself to be touched by the sun and the confidence and optimism that it brings. And we've got the person who is reading, so kind of throwing themselves into study, into a new project. I just think like getting stuck into something new will help you to move on from this situation. And also the two people with their thumbs up as well, kind of saying, yes, this is good. We're shaking hands. So someone else you're going to be talking to who's going to make you feel a bit better. You know, this may just be someone that you're getting close to as a friend and they're able to brighten your day a little bit. But I think for a lot of you, it is a new person that you're interested in romantically. And it's just early days by the end of this month, the month of August, um, getting to know them a little bit better and feeling this is a much healthier, much more positive relationship. So I hope you enjoyed this group three. This is the main part of your reading. And now you can go and choose a gnome if you didn't do that already or if you forgot which one you chose, you can just go back to the start of the video. If you remember which one you chose, you might have chosen more than one, um, then you can just go to the description box and the comments section to jump ahead to your gnome. And I'm gonna get started with those now. Hey there, if you chose Gizmond as your gnome, then this is kind of the second part of your reading, just some little extra messages to make it more personalized for you. So we're gonna take a look in the gnome bag and see what Gizmond has to say about your situation. Okay, so let's see what we've got. We've got three gnome tarot cards and a Whispering Woods Oracle card. So let's take a look. I'm really strongly getting a channeled message as well of don't give up. So that's coming through as your channeled message today. I know I usually do channeled messages um, written down, but I just couldn't do that this time because I'm still kind of in transit a little bit. Um, but don't give up is coming through very strongly. And I'm also getting more of an image than a channeled message. It's like someone who's shouting into the wind just in the wilderness. It's like it's okay to get those emotions out in a healthy and controlled way. So if that resonates with you, take it on board. So we've got Diavol here, the devil. Karol Mieche, the king of swords, and it says Saznania, recognition or awareness. And uh, the Vojka Mieche, the two of swords, is lost, which means rage or fury. And then we have woods, be like the woods, calm, soothing, mysterious, and full of life. So interesting, because I was just talking about kind of shouting into the wilderness. So maybe just reconnecting with nature would be very helpful for you if you can take a walk somewhere that's very natural and open and quiet in that sense. That may be very helpful for you, because I see that you've been dealing with some difficult things here. Um, I see something being kind of put to rest here, yeah, some kind of situation that was negative. Also, I just feel... A, kind of killing off negative feelings, dealing with them in a healthy way so that they're gone and so that you've kind of healed and moved on from that situation. The devil as well, Capricorn energy there. I'm getting also Gemini, Libra, Aquarius with the King of Swords. But this is just making me think obsession. There's been some kind of obsession or real lustful situation in your life where you've almost felt addicted to someone or like you were someone's prisoner in a way. And now it's you setting yourself free from that choosing to overcome that situation and and be independent and stand in your power because the king of swords is very independent and stands away from all of that so this may represent you it may be someone that you're talking to currently or someone that was maybe the devil in this situation but I feel like it's more of a separate person so it's either you or someone that you're um, going to be meeting in August or someone that you're kind of already talking to and this is someone who's very intellectual very independent as I said before and they likely have quite a logical, rational mind, so they may not feel very comfortable talking about their feelings. So um, their love language is probably going to be to express their love through actions or through doing something for you, through giving you a gift, maybe. If you don't know about love languages, I recommend you look them up and see what yours are so that you can be on the same page with any future relationships. But I feel like they're not the sort of person to kind of talk comfortably about how they're feeling. So that may resonate with you as well. And then this lovely woods card. So it's just saying, get back to nature, be grounded. You may have a lot of earth energy in your chart already. And so maybe you might want to look at the earth um, elemental reading when you watch the general predictions reading in August, if you haven't already done that. Um, but yeah, just being calm, just kind of allowing things to overcome you, I think, and not resisting that when I think of the woods. Like the woods just keeps growing. It keeps reclaiming things you know it reclaims 
parts of the world and when you see these derelict buildings that are just being kind of eaten away by vines, by roots of trees, all these kinds of things, nature kind of pulls back what belongs to her and that's what I'm seeing, it's just you allowing situations to kind of wash over you and remaining calm on the inside, remaining grounded, peaceful, meditate as much as you can and I like that as well, the full of life message as well. So beautiful, bustling, vibrant, vital energy. So this is your extended reading, definitely overcoming some quite difficult or quite intense things, definitely pulling yourself out of a situation that was harmful for you or that really cast a long shadow over your life and now you're starting to stand in your power and be aware of your independence and the power of your own free will and your own decision making. So I hope you enjoyed this Gizmans group. Thank you so much for watching today. Um, have a great August as well. I would love it if you would give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it um, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also, I love it when you comment below and let me know how you're feeling, you know, what's going on in your situation because I do try to reply to as many comments as I can and just I think it's important that you know that I do read them and I do hear what you're saying. Anyone who wants to join my Patreon page or support the channel in another way through sending me a new deck or through making a donation or a little tip for this reading, all of that is very gratefully received and you'll find all the links as to how to do that um, in the description box. Also, anyone who wants to book a private reading with me or an angel healing session, my Etsy page is also going to be linked in the description box as well. So thank you again so much for watching. Thank you for joining me today. Have a great month ahead and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Take care. Hey there everyone who chose Gunfeld as their gnome, welcome to the second part of your reading. So this is just going to give you a few extra messages to make it more personalised for you. So we're going to take a look in the gnome bag and see what Gunfeld has to say about your situation. So I'm getting some channeled messages as well now. I normally write them down but I'm not able to do that um, today. So what I'm hearing is be as strong as a rock, like kind of stand strong and be the rock in the middle of the stormy sea that doesn't move and that is kind of calm and strong and powerful. And I'm also hearing the sands of time will wash everything away. So I don't know whether that's meant to say this too shall pass, but in a really vague and cryptic way, or if it's like just an overly poetic way of saying this situation is not gonna last forever and neither will this lifetime for you. You'll have other experiences as well. The sands of time will just come and wash everything away and in your next lifetime, you won't even remember all of the trials and tribulations you've been through in this one. So kind of take comfort from that, that you've been through more than you can ever remember or realize. So let's take a look at your cards. Those are your channeled messages for this month. So we have Troika Magnet, the three of pentacles, and it says economia, economy, like saving, saving money. We've got Shistyor Kachash, the six of cups, and it says Svadba, wedding. And Pravasudhya, justice. Okay, Libra energy there. And then we have the word risk, learn to grow wherever you are planted. Okay, interesting. So I see there being some changes coming in for you in this month because we've got the risk card and that to me just feels like you're taking a chance on something or you're choosing something new over something that you already know. So it's like they say better the devil you know, but you're taking a risk on the new experience, which I think is really admirable and really interesting. I see you saving up resources as well. So with the three of, um, three of pentacles, it's like you're saving up money or like someone has not been giving you what you needed here because I think the keyword or the um what's it called the description of this in the guidebook is talking about giving more than you receive is just as bad as receiving more than you give so learning to come into a balanced relationship there's two pretty balanced looking cards here so understanding balance understanding moving away from extremes and that kind of thing and we've got the six of cups so this wedding imagery is nice like I would normally associate this with more of the two of cups um, but the six of cups obviously is different in regular tarot but this is talking about coming together community feeling an affinity with someone and feeling like that person really gets you so I do think you're feeling some romantic feelings in this month and like you're growing closer to someone and like you almost have something to celebrate with that person as well. 
and then with the justice card you get out what you put in basically <laughs> this is what it's saying you get back what it is that you um choose to think and act and and say it's like the consequences of your actions will be negative or positive based on whether you have been speaking and thinking and acting out of integrity in a positive way or whether you've been acting out of ego or trying to do something underhand and therefore being negative um that will bring you back negative consequences. So this is all about the law of karma, which actually is very close to what the Six of Cups is about as well. The law of karma, um, past life issues coming back to you. So it feels like we're tying up some loose ends here and you're learning, actually, I want something more balanced. Actually, we either need to talk about this or I'm moving on. For those of you that are talking to someone or are in a relationship with someone and you're taking a risk to start something new or to start something which is different to what you're currently doing as well. So I think that's really, really interesting. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Gunfeld's group, thank you so much for watching today. I would love it if you would give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I would also love it if you'd let me know in the comments how this resonated with you, what your situation is. I love hearing about how the cards seem to fit people's situations even when they're very different and I find that so fascinating. And I do try to reply to as many comments as I can. Um, if you would like to join my Patreon page or help out the channel in another way, I have my Patreon page linked in the description box along with my PayPal link for tips and donations and my Tarot Amazon wish list for anyone who is feeling generous enough to send a new deck my way. That would be so lovely. So thank you to everyone that's donated. If you're interested in booking a private reading or having an angel healing session with me, then that is all available on my Etsy page, which is also linked in the description box as well. Thank you so much for watching today. Have a great month ahead and I'll see you again soon. Bye bye. Take care. Hey there everyone who chose Gaia as their gnome. This is the second part of your reading and it's just going to give you some extra messages just to make the reading a little bit more personalized for you. So we're going to take a look in the gnome bag and see what Gaia has to say about your situation. So let's see what we've got. We have a Whispering Woods Oracle card and three Gnome Tarot cards today. And I'm getting your channel messages now because I normally write them down, but um, I wasn't able to do that today. So let's see what we're getting. Okay, I'm hearing destiny looms over you. It's been coming for some time. Okay, so whatever is gonna happen, it's meant to happen. So just, you know, trust that it's meant to happen. Trust that even if you don't agree with it, it's for your highest good and that this has been building up for some time so I feel like a lot of you already know what I'm talking about but some change or resolution is coming that has been on its way for quite some time so let's take a look at your cards so we've got Paj Bulav Savisimust this says the page of wands and dependence is what it says down here Tesiatka Miche the ten of swords Predatelstva betrayal and Sila, strength. Okay, so we've got all of the fire signs coming out here, Aries, Leo, and Sagittarius, especially Leo, because we've got the strength card as well. And then we have Path, wonder on the past less traveled, what you find might surprise you. Okay, interesting. So it's like you're choosing to take a new path in this month. You're choosing to start something new or to kind of pull away from a situation that you've been putting a lot of time and energy into. Like you're kind of moving off one path into one that seems better suited for you, even if it's not the path that a lot of people would maybe choose. But what I'm seeing here is that you are a very strong person and you're kind of overcoming a lot of difficulties right now. You're overcoming situations that have, you've had to kind of wrestle with and that have really eaten you up in a way. You're, you're learning to be more confident and to kind of rely on yourself rather than others because that dependence card is kind of jumping out at me loud and clear like you have maybe been in a codependent situation or you have just been too dependent on other people to fulfill your needs or too dependent on circumstances to kind of bring you what you want and now it's you kind of coming into your power and saying actually no <laughs> you know if I rely on someone else or if I rely on the wheel of fortune to bring me what I want then I'll be waiting a long time or it'll be ups and downs all the time because I'll never fully be content with someone else's moods determining my own happiness or the ups and downs of fate and fortune determining what is my inner contentment so this is learning to be happy confident and content by yourself and standing on your own doing that and I'm not saying you're going to be alone or anything but this is just saying like having that 
inner strength within and that inner contentment is absolutely crucial to having a happy life and not putting your happiness or your contentment, your satisfaction into the hands of others or just into the hands of fate, making sure that it comes from within and that it comes from your own life. And then in the center, of course, we've got that betrayal card, which I'm sure probably a lot of you are focusing on in this reading. And so I think just it's telling you to be careful who who you keep confidences with. You know, if someone um, goes behind your back or if someone doesn't treat people very nicely, then they're probably not someone that you want to have in your life. And they're certainly not someone that you want to trust with your secrets or with your feelings, you know. So be discerning about who you choose to glow grow closer to and who you choose to spend your time with and to talk to in this month and some of you will feel as though someone is not being entirely truthful with you or that someone is kind of spinning you a line or maybe talking to multiple people when that wasn't what you agreed um, but I think for a lot of you it's just about being discerning in who you tell your secrets to or who you share your feelings with because not everyone can be trusted with that and not everyone will kind of have the same level of feeling that you do so be sure that you're kind of on the same page before you pour out your heart to someone essentially but that's what I'm seeing for you in this month so I hope you enjoyed this Gaia's group thank you so much for watching today I'd love it if you'd give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already I'd also love it if you would let me know in the comments below how this resonated with you because I love reading all your comments I love hearing how the cards seem to fit a lot of different situations. I just find it fascinating. And I do try to reply to as many comments as I can. So I would love it if you would leave me a little comment for me to read later on. Um, if you would like to join my Patreon page, that is linked in the description box, as well as my PayPal link for tips and donations. And my Tarot Amazon wish list for anyone who is feeling really generous and would like to send me a new deck. Thank you so much to everyone who has donated to the channel so far. Also, if you are interested in booking a private reading with me or you would like an angel healing session, my Etsy page is linked in the description as well. So have a great month ahead, Gaia's group, and take these messages on board and take care of yourselves and I'll see you again soon. Bye-bye. Hi there everyone who chose Kjord as your gnome. Welcome to the second part of your reading. This is going to be like your little extra messages just to make the reading a little bit more personalized for you. So we're going to take a look in the gnome bag and see what Kjord has to say about your situation. Also I'm getting your channeled messages coming through now. I, kn I know I normally write them down before I do the reading and so you just see them on bits of paper when I pull them out of the bag but I wasn't able to do that today. So your channel messages are coming through now um, and I'm getting... Believe in yourself. This isn't the only chance you'll have, okay? So I don't know if that is, this isn't the only chance you'll have at love, if you're kind of questioning a connection and wondering if they're the only person for you, or if it's this isn't your only chance to believe in yourself. I feel like it's kind of a double message there, but just take that on board. So let's see what we've got. We have um, Vasmyurka Chash, the Eight of Cups, and it says, Obshustvien so public life okay then we have Chitvyorka Manyet Suyata so the four of pentacles and Suyata means like hustle and bustle kind of like a busy time a little bit of an unsettled time and Paj Miche, the page of swords fanatism fanaticism and then your little whispering woods card says caution Tread softly so as not to disturb the woodland floor. Okay, so basically what I'm seeing here is that you are feeling quite concerned with social media and with other people's lives, but also how you come across to other people in this month. It's almost like you're placing too much focus on what other people will think or what other people's value judgments are of you. So if you're spending too much time on social media and seeing what people are posting and thinking they have the perfect life, just remember that people post a heavily filtered version of themselves on social media. They only show you the absolute best bits of their experience. So they show you the picture of them happily loved up with someone on the beach. And then they don't show you that two seconds later they were arguing about something because, you know, someone forgot to do something or someone was getting on someone's nerves. They only show you that snapshot moment that they have heavily filtered and kind of built up to look perfect. So... Just take that on board. Also, I feel like this is quite a busy month for you. It feels as though there is a lot of 
uncertainty in this month, almost like you're not sure what to do or you're not sure that what you're choosing to do is the right thing. It feels as though you've got a lot of concern and worry and anxiety going around your head. So this is just telling you to stay grounded um, and to seize the happiness in each little opportunity, like seize each moment for the happiness and the contentment that it can bring to you. Enjoy the little things in life in this month. And also, if you're going to get involved in any kind of argument, ask yourself if you really need to. Like, firstly, is this your argument or is it someone else's dispute? And secondly, will this thing that you're arguing about or this thing that's upset you, will it be important to you in a week or a month's time? And if the answer is no, just leave it. Just try to, you know, brush it off and don't sweat the small stuff in this month. I feel as though you're maybe having some miscommunication with someone or you're spying on someone, checking up on their social media and feeling upset about that. Um, but just try not to take that on board and remind yourself that what you're seeing is not necessarily the truth, that it, it is a, an illusion in many ways and that um, you're just seeing this heavily filtered version, as I said. And this caution card is interesting as well. I feel like that's saying no sudden movements in this month. Like just go with what you're feeling guided to do. Don't do anything on a whim. Don't do something that's not well thought out. Um, just be cautious, be careful, listen to your intuitive feelings. And as I said, stay grounded, keep checking in with yourself regularly to see how you're feeling and to see what your energy levels are, whether you need to have a little detox, have a bath, have a breather, meditate, have something to eat or drink, you know, stay hydrated, stay well fed, all of those things. Keep checking in with your mind and body because that's really important for you in this month. So I hope you enjoyed this Gjord's group. This is as I said, the second part of your reading, I hope that it's given you some important messages that you're going to take on board. Thank you so much for watching this video. I would love it if you would give this a big thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. I'd also love it if you'd let me know in the comments how this resonated with you because I love hearing about how the cards seem to match so many different situations. I find that fascinating and I do try to reply to as many comments as I can. If you'd like to help out the channel in any way, I have links in the description box as to how you can do that. I have a Patreon page that I would love to see you over there um, as a member. I have a PayPal link for tips and donations to the channel and I have a Tarot Amazon wishlist if you would like to send a new deck my way. Thank you so much to everyone who has donated. You are so kind and generous and as I said earlier, it really just amazes me every time I get a notification to say that someone has left a donation for the channel. It just blows me away every single time. So thank you for your kindness. If you'd like to book a private reading or a angel healing session, the Etsy page, my little shop, is linked in the description as well. So all the links are in the description box. Thank you so much for watching again. Have a great month ahead and I will see you again soon. Bye bye. Take care.